Since I started my YouTube channel, I have pretty much dedicated my attention to the platform to one thing, Animal Crossing Island Tours. But there is one theme that took the Animal Crossing community by storm since the beginning, Cottagecore Islands. And of course, I've seen a ton of Cottagecore themed islands, but what are some of the best islands I've ever seen in the Cottagecore aesthetic? Well, you're in luck, because today we're going to look at the top five best Cottagecore islands I've ever seen. As y'all already know, in this best of series, I could easily mention another 15 or so, and I'm sure there will be a part two, part three, part four, etc. As of course, I'm going to tour more islands and we'll probably find more. As per usual, I'm going to put everyone's island information in the description box below so you can check out the full tours and of course, give these amazing creators some love. But let's go ahead and start today's top five list beginning with this gorgeous island. If I've ever seen a perfect cottagecore island, well, this one is it. This is an all white cottagecore island that is decorated from edge to edge, including every villager home, every beach. And if you saw this full tour here on my YouTube channel, you already know that I was speechless the majority of the time. I mean, it truly is the perfect combination of natural, following a perfect color scheme, and yet still capturing that classic cottagecore cozy aesthetic that we all know and love. From the pear orchard to the gorgeous lakefront views, this island is pretty much flawless. If you haven't already, please do yourself a favor and visit Andrew's Island yourself or watch the tour here on my YouTube channel. I mean, this list quite honestly would not be complete without it. If this island looks familiar, it's because I just toured it on my channel over the past week. And listen, just because I recently toured it, it doesn't mean that it didn't absolutely steal my heart. I mean, wow, it deserves absolutely a top five spot on this list for so many reasons. This is a beautiful autumn island that takes on that overall cottage core theme with the rolling fields of wheat and cozy picnic spots. There are subtle hints of mushrooms sprinkled throughout, areas to do laundry, and of course, the overall coziness perfectly showcases what a cottage core island should be. If you're a lover of a pumpkin spice latte or a cuddly picnic, and of course, gorgeous autumn views and color palettes, then this island is absolutely for you. The island of Daisywood is the perfect combination of cottage core, rustic farm, and fishing all bundled into one pretty much perfect island. It's so sleepy, it's still welcoming and warm, and quite frankly, the best adjective to describe this island is gorgeous. From a farmer's market to food trucks, even an outdoor cinema, and the best part, a gorgeous dairy factory. This island pretty much has it all. Of course, don't forget to visit the stunning views at the county fair. Obviously, one of my favorite areas to explore. Or even Ketchup's tomato farm next to the back right beach. This list of the best cottagecore islands would not be complete without this perfect island of Daisywood. Bowen Isle has been one of my favorite natural cottagecore islands ever since I first saw it. And this island, it was created way before even the 2.0 update was given to us Animal Crossing players. It even brings in a hint of forest core with the island designs, and it's so incredibly natural with rustic views, lots of trees, lots of flowers. This island, even before the 2.0 update, it truly stands the test of time when it comes to how gorgeous the builds, the views, and the overall aesthetic is, and I had to include it in this video.
Oftentimes, we think of cottagecore having very muted earth and minimalistic colors taking the front stage, but that's not the case with Bearland. This island is so full of color, whimsy, and it still perfectly nails the cottagecore vibe all at the same time. From pumpkin farms to lavender fields, immaculate waterscaping, this island is still one of the most viewed tours on my channel, and it's pretty clear as to why. I absolutely adore the unique pathing and the usage of various custom designs to make this island's decorating pop. This video would not be complete without this whimsical, colorful edition of Bearland. So let me know which islands do you want to see in the next best of video of the series? Let me know in the comments below your thoughts. Do you want to see the best beaches, best city core, or maybe even the best interiors I've ever seen? I'm all ears, so make sure to let me know. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more Animal Crossing content. And if you are not new to my channel, either way, I hope y'all are having an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in this big, old, beautiful world of ours. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.